the recipients of the 1998 National Medal of Technology. The team of Kenneth L. Thompson and Dennis M. Ritchie from Bell Laboratories Lucent Technology for co-inventing the Unix operating system and the C programming language. Dennis Ritchie was by no means a public figure, but his work in computer science had a major impact on the development of the digital age. I, I was working on a project to renovate the showcase exhibit at Murray Hill, and we decided that we really wanted to make a replica of the terminal that Dennis had. So I said, well, I'm a neighbor of Dennis, and I will stop by and see if he'll lend us his Turing board. So I dropped by, rang the doorbell, um, opened the door. He's been retired for a few years, but just got greeted by a great big smile and said, Dennis, would it be okay if we borrowed your Turing award? He said, yeah, sure. And he walked in. It was on the fireplace. He pulled down this slightly uh, tarnished silver bowl and handed it to me. I went... Next, I was going over to my dad's house, and I said, gee, Dad, you know, you want to see a Turing Award? He almost fell off his chair. He said, is that insured? Are you being careful with it? And Dennis was so generous and humble. He handed over a very, very expensive Tiffany silver bowl to me. Anyway, we returned it, shined up. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually, I was uh, Dennis Ritchie's neighbor, and basically when I go and visit Dennis Ritchie, he actually had a back room in his house, he worked 2 and 3 a.m. in the morning, every morning, and I would actually see that, um, you know, he basically worked, and I don't know what kind of data he was porting, but he actually had one of the first optical fibers into his house, so he was transmitting tons and tons of data, um, and this was only a, only a few years ago. For the last couple of years, I've been using the Unix lab for doing my own work, and uh, that's the place where Dennis uh, did all his greatest creations, the C and the Unix. Uh, and uh, I had the fortune of riding the elevator with him a few times. Uh, in the recent years, he had become a little uh, uh, frail and uh, used to come to the office infrequently. But every now and then, I would see him in the elevator, uh, would say hi, but he was a man of few words, and uh, he would just quietly smile but never went beyond that, but it's like you're walking with uh, a legend and uh, I grew up using the textbooks based on all his great work, right? It's a very different feeling to walk with the same person in the same space. Uh, it's an awe-inspiring thing, I would say, so. Now, I, I used to monitor attendance at, at the card swipes into the building and Dennis Ritchie until the last days was coming in 80% of the time. I don't know how he did it. I think he basically got into the computers and, and found a way to register that he was actually coming in so that he would not lose his office. <laughs> so if you could just tell me a little bit, you know, Dennis Ritchie. Well, it's interesting. We happen to sit in the same area where he sat in his team. So we remember him pretty well. Um, and we still enjoy going, walking through the offices where he worked and they're good memories for our team and uh, it inspires us to uh, work on big things. <laughs>